Well, good morning, church family. Coming to you on a rainy Friday morning. Uh, but wanting to just give you a word of encouragement, share a passage of scripture with you today. Uh, I wanted to read to you a devotion that I uh, came across today just by way of encouragement. Uh, it's from a, a guy named David Mathis. Um, and just really powerful, encouraging, and reminding. Uh, and so let me, let me just read that briefly and then read a passage of scripture. Um, and it, it actually will begin to prepare our hearts, I pray, for, um, for hearing God's word on Sunday. He writes this, These may be unprecedented days in our lifetimes, but they are not unprecedented in the life of the church. The church has endured such suffering and uncertainty before, and much worse, just by way of pandemic, not to mention persecution. In days like these, and in every season of our lives, we do well to remember the certainty and centrality of the church in the care of the living Christ. To be clear, this is not a word about being the church in the coronavirus age. This is the church's age, not a virus's. The church will not pass, coronavirus will. And this is our Father's world. This is Christ's world. And as his bride, this is indeed, in a real measure, the church is world. Not the news medias, not the epidemiologists and st statisticians, not the economists and politicians. The church will endure these days and outlive this trial and be stronger because of the footnote that is our present distress. The main news happening in the world right now does not concern data about the spread or the economy and the stimulus and the free money coming our, our way. The main news is the church. Jesus Christ, with all authority in heaven and on earth, is building his church. And not even the gates of hell hold back the final advance of his church, much less temporary panic and financial freefall. As I read that, I was just encouraged to think about, uh, again, beyond my immediate circumstances, to remember what it is that God is doing in this world and, and how he is doing it through his body, through his church. And encourage you, I pray this morning, uh, as you're reminded of his purposes that are, are so much bigger uh, and cannot be thwarted. The passage of scripture that I wanted to share with you is from Colossians chapter 4. Paul writes this. <clears throat> he says, Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. Um, and as I think about tomorrow, particularly spending the day, uh, a day to fast and pray, uh, his instruction not only to continue steadfastly, but in prayer, he says, um, be watchful in it, be aware, um, be observant, uh, and do it with thanksgiving. At the same time, he's, he said, he goes on to say, pray also for us that God may open to us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ. Um, walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time, and let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. As we think about spending a, a good portion of tomorrow in prayer, um, I was reminded of a, a quote I, I once read. It said, if, if humility had a voice, it would be prayer. Uh, and, and, you know, Scripture calls us to, Christ teaches us how and calls us to hear Paul um, asks that we can, and charges us to continue steadfastly in prayer. And so, um, I mean, just one of the things that prayer does is it reminds us uh, that we are so dependent on on God and that he is so sufficient for everything that we need. So um, know that I'm praying for you, um, love you. If there's any specific prayer requests that, that I can uh, be bringing to the Lord in my personal time every day, please uh, email me, text me, call me. Uh, just let me know how I can be praying for you specifically. And if there's any way that I can 
uh, minister to you or uh, we as a, a body, if there's specific needs that you might have, please let us know. Uh, we've got a group of people who would just love to, to, to be able to serve you and bless you um, during this time. Pray with me real quick. Father, thank you for the day. Thank you for uh, another day that you've given, another day in which you are ruling and, and, and sovereign, that you're in control. Help us to trust you, Father. Help us to rest in you um, and, and remember that your purpose is uh, here uh, through the gospel, through your church, um, will continue to go forward. God, help us as we pray uh, that we would uh, be watchful with thanksgiving and that we would be praying for one another. Uh, it's easy to just think about the things that we're concerned about or the needs that I have, but God, help us to to look beyond ourselves um, and just continue to lift one another, our community, our healthcare professionals, our leaders, uh, Father, our state, our country, um, Father, that we would just bring it all to you, knowing that you uh, you can you can handle it, and that we would uh, our faith would be strengthened. God, we love you, and we thank you for being with us. We pray these things in Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you.